Hey YouTube, this is Alexander and I'm back with another tech video. Uh, in this tech video I'm going to be talking about Android 4.2.2 on the Nexus 7 as well as the Nexus 4, so let's get started. Okay, so uh, many of you probably already know Android 4.2.2 uh, was released, uh, I believe, like last week for the GSM Galaxy Nexus, the Nexus 7, as well as the Nexus 10, and it not too long ago arrived for the uh, Nexus 4. So both my devices have went ahead and got it. Uh, it adds performance enhancements as well as, you know, just minor tweaks. Uh, it's a minor upgrade. I'm just going to be talking about some of the things that it, that it changed. Um, one of the big things for the uh, Nexus 7 and the Nexus 4 was the like toggles. They now have toggles uh, up here. So as you can see, we're connected to Wi-Fi. The airplane mode has always been a toggle. You hit that and it toggles airplane mode. Um, however, the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth uh, were just shortcuts to those settings. But now if you long press, you can turn Wi-Fi off, as you can see, or you can turn it back on with the long press. Same thing with Bluetooth. Turn it on with the long press and turn it off with a long press. So that's uh, very nice. It's uh, good to see Google starting to implement more features as they become aware of users uh, requesting them. Uh, battery life, uh, I'm not sure how battery life, battery life on the uh, Nexus 7 has been pretty much the same. I haven't seen too many differences with uh, battery life. I do a lot of uh, uh, YouTube watching and I have great battery life. So you can see here, uh, for me that's good anyway. 15 hours uh, screen on time would be 41 minutes so far. I uh, haven't used it too much since the last charge, but it's been just fine for me. Now on the Nexus uh, 4 is a little bit different story. If we go into battery and we check out my battery, you can see screen on time, an hour and 22 minutes, and 64%, and it's uh, 6 hours, 19 minutes off the charger. I'm feeling like it's the same amount of battery as it was before the update, which unfortunately wasn't that great, but it wasn't horrible for me. I could get by on a day if, as long as the screen on time was less than about three hours or around three hours I was able to get through a day uh, I did have Google now disabled though uh, since then I have re-enabled it and disabled a lot of features except for the weather and like the commuting times to go back and forth home in various places okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it up by talking about one of the most important things uh, that may concern you if you're using a Nexus 4 uh, if you're somewhere in Canada or in the US that you are getting LTE support unofficially uh, you know through the um, through the dialer type setting. Um, this unfortunately breaks the LTE capabilities. Um, hopefully, or maybe some developers, since it was disabled by a software tweak, uh, can be re-enabled uh, through a software tweak, or you can roll back um, possibly using the older radio, so it'll still work, hopefully. So if you're using LTE right now, and you haven't upgraded, and you're watching this video, and you want to continue to use LTE, don't upgrade, because you will not have it anymore. Uh, the last thing I want to mention about the Nexus 4 and this update in general would be the colors seem to be a little bit deeper. Uh, it might just be me, but I noticed right after the upgrade uh, or the update had finished, the the dark tones and the grays in the settings seemed uh, deeper to me, um, more black uh, or closer to a black tone rather than it was. It sort of looked like a washed out gray to me before, so they might have tweaked the colors a little bit. Um, but that's pretty much it. For this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe down there, and uh, stay tuned because I'll be having more coverage of Android and iOS videos to come. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.